Hi, welcome to the children's message today. Um, today we talked about in our, our message earlier uh, how important it is to wait and to watch for Jesus to come back and how it's important to, to stay in God's word and allow God to work through his word to help us do that. And so I want to talk about some of the things that maybe we watch and we wait for. Um, you know, maybe our, our birthdays are, are one of those things that we kind of, we watch and we wait for and we get really excited about. And when we get closer and closer to our birthday, maybe uh, someone tells us, oh, your birthday's only a month away. Or maybe you, you know it's, it's in the winter time, and so when the snow starts falling, oh, you know, your birthday is coming. Another thing that's kind of like that is Christmas time. And I know that Christmas is a little ways away, but it won't be very long, and you'll, you'll start to see decorations going up. I bet even in some stores, you're already seeing some toys out there and some Christmas deals coming. Pretty soon you'll see lights going up in people's houses, on their houses, on their Christmas trees. You'll see maybe some decorations, like, like an angel going up. And maybe you'll see some, kind of some nice presents under the tree or some neatly um, colorful, some real colorful boxes and decorations you put up in your, your homes. Those are all things that help us and stay, stay ready for when Christmas comes. They get us excited for when Christmas comes. And that's really what God says his word does for us as we wait for Jesus to take us home to heaven. He says, my word, and if we stay in his word, it's going to keep us waiting for it, keep us watching for it to come, watching for Jesus to come and to bring us home. And he says that's such an important thing because without his word, we can't really be ready. In, in God's word, when we, we were looking at our lesson from Matthew, we saw that there was five people who were ready and five people who weren't ready. And the people who weren't ready didn't have enough oil. They weren't, they weren't ready um, to, to wait for Jesus to come. Jesus tells us the only way we can be ready is if we have enough to keep us strong in our faith, to keep our, our lamps burning, our faith burning strong and bright. And that's a really important lesson for us to learn, that God does that to us through his word. And so when we sing our songs um, about God's word that remind us of God's word, or when we learn Bible passages, maybe some of you are going to learn some, some Bible passages for, for Christmas time, or when we study God's word, those are all ways that we can stay strong and stay ready for Jesus to come back. And so that's what I'd like to pray about um, with you today. Let's fold our hands and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that you are coming and you ask us to stay ready for you to come. Help us to stay ready the way that you ask us, the only way you tell us we can be ready, and that is through being in your word. Help us to learn about our Savior Jesus and all that he has done for us in living and dying and rising from the dead for us. Help us to remember the most important thing is not things here in this world, but that you will come back and take us to our home in heaven and help us to um, always live that way, to live happy despite what may happen and remembering that our home is with you in heaven. We thank you so much for giving us your word, which reminds us of this and keeps our faith strong. And we ask that we always stay close to you in your word. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for coming up to the children's message today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.